This week we're looking at number 10 in the series on 1st and 2nd Peter. This one's entitled Prophecy and Scripture and Peter is going to great lengths to try and explain his own personal experience of prophecy and scripture and what it means to him. He begins by speaking of the fact that these ideas, these stories that he's repeating are no made up myths. We saw his majesty for ourselves and of course he's talking about the transfiguration experience up there on the mountain with Jesus and James and John as well. And he's trying to speak in the same way as the Apostle John. We touched him, we saw him, we experienced Jesus in the flesh. This isn't some kind of myth or mystery it is something very very real this is the fulfillment of prophecy he points to the confirming word of prophecy that's absolutely trustworthy in verse 19 of second peter chapter 1 he likens god's word to a lamp shining in the dark until the day dawns and the morning star rises and that of course is the coming of jesus he's saying this is what was promised and this is what has now been fulfilled god is trustworthy he promised to come he did come and of course by implication as we look forward in prophecy we can see that Jesus is going to come again. God has promised. God will fulfill that. And then also he says there that this prophecy did not come through some whim of personal interpretation. Prophecy comes from the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, not from human ideas. 2 Peter 1 and verse 20 and Isaiah 53, which is in his mind there, is speaking about this prophecy. That's what was promised. This is what has been fulfilled. This is how we link together things. Prophecy, fulfillment. And we see this as being something which we can trust. But more than simply kind of some kind of, I don't know, divine experiment by which you test what was promised and what is fulfilled. This is a personal experience. And Peter says, you have to experience this personally. This is what it's really all about, is looking back seeing how God has acted and your involvement with it now. So instead of turning this into another study of maybe the beasts of Daniel or something, look again at what prophecy really is. It's God speaking and speaking to you, making promises, giving you messages, most of all leading you on to his eternal kingdom. May we all be there.